Hey guys, it's me Susil Adhikari for Health Info Nepal and in this video I'm going to tell you about the fundus picture in hypertensive retinopathy. Okay, so let's discuss about that. There are uh, various classifications to describe the uh, retinopathy. Okay, among them Keith Wagner classifications is one of the most commonly used classifications. Okay, and there are four grades of classification grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 and grade 4. Okay, and as we move from grade 1 to grade 4, the disease of the the severity of the disease also get increased. Okay, so now let's talk about grade 1 hypertensive retinopathy. Okay, in uh, fundus examinations of grade 1 hypertensive retinopathy, there is the uh, mild generalized marrows of arterioles. Okay, remember the word or mild. Okay, in grade 1, there is the mild generalized narrowings of arterioles and the most common the smaller branches of the arterioles are involved okay and with the arterial narrowings there occurs the venous concernment okay now let's uh, discuss about the uh, pathogenesis behind this okay behind the uh, narrowings of arterioles okay is uh, in hypertension there is the due to systemic hypertension the smaller uh, arterioles in uh, small arterioles there occurs the vasoconstriction okay Due to vasoconstrictions, arterioles becomes narrow, and we can see this on Fonder's examination. Okay, and uh, the arterial light reflex becomes more wide. Okay, normally the arterial light reflex uh, is bright; uh, it is uh, more thin and linear. But uh, due to sclerotic change, due to sclerosis of arterioles in hypertensive retinopathy, the size of the arterioles becomes increased, and there is the diffuse and more uh, less bright arterial light reflex okay arterial light reflex is diffuse okay remember remember the word diffuse in grade 1 and grade 2 hypertensive retinopathy okay it is more diffuse it, it, it does so uh, this is the three features for grade 1 hypertensive retinopathy one is there is mild arterial narrowings mild generalized arterial narrowing second is venous concentrate and third is there is the widening of the arterial light reflex okay for uh, now let's go to grade 2 hypertensive retinopathy in grade 2 hypertensive retinopathy there is marked generalized arterial narrowings okay uh, remember the word marked okay in grade 1 there is mild okay in grade 2 there is marked generalized arterial narrowings okay and along with that there is the special point salvage sign okay? s a l u s salvage sign okay well, well, one uh, cannot forget this sign because the, <coughs> this is very important salvage sign is there is the deflections of the vein at a b crossing okay deflections of vein at a b crossing okay so uh, what happens in a hypertensive retinopathy is the arterioles and vein shears the common adventitial sheath okay and uh, due to hypertension so the sclerotic changes occurs in arterioles so that uh, when the arterial uh, size of the arterial becomes increased, when the size of the arterial is increased, it compresses the veins and various signs, various various features we can uh, find out. Okay, among them, salvage sign is uh, one of the most important sign. And uh, let's talk about the grade three hypertensive retinopathy. Okay, in grade three hypertensive retinopathy, all the features are similar to grade two hypertensive retinopathy, along with some additional features. Okay all the features of grade 2 are preserved in grade 3 okay and there are the some additional features like copper wirings of arterioles okay copper wiring is the reddish brown this reddish brown arterial light reflex okay in uh, there is the diffuse arterial light reflex in case of grade 1 and grade 2 but in grade 3 there is the reddish brown arterial light reflex okay in grade 3 there is reddish brown arterial light reflex we call it cop or wiring of arterioles okay along with that there is the gon sign g u n and gon sign okay gon sign is there is the tapering of the vents at a v crossing okay as we uh, can remember at the tip of the gun is pointed so in gone sign, there is the tapering of the vents at a v crossing. Okay, along with the, like that, there is the bonnet sign. Okay, bonnet sign is there is the banking of the vein distal to a v crossing. Okay, bonnet sign is present in grade three hypertensive retinopathy, and bonnet sign is the banking of veins uh, distal to a v crossing. Okay, along with that, there is the hard exudates. We can find hard exudates, cotton wool spots, and flame subbed hemorrhage in grade three hypertensive retinopathy. Okay. Uh, in grade uh, 4 hypertensive retinopathy, 
all the features are similar to grade 3 hypertensive retinopathy and additionally there is papillary edema and there is the silver wirings of arterioles okay silver wiring of arterioles is the white opaque arteriolar light reflex okay white opaque arteriolar light reflex okay we can find this in grade 4 hypertensive retinopathy on fundus examination okay and uh, most important thing is in grade 4 hypertensive retinopathy there can be papillary edema okay so guys uh, this is the uh, keith wagner classifications of hypertensive retinopathy thank for watching and uh, for more uh, such videos don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel Thank you.